see Vice President Lenny uh, saying that you should be the first to be vaccinated um, to shore up the public. Um, siya may yung apurado, siya ang mauna. Ako, ay, I, I cannot just decide. She's young. I am not. I have to defer to my doctor. Kailangan ko hmm. magpabakuna. Ano bang problema nila sa bakuna na talaga magpabakuna man ako? My God, I hate drugs. Sir, para po sa inyo namang galing, um, Sir, nabakunahan na po ba kayo? At kung hindi pa po, Sir, would you confirm na ang gusto po ninyong bakuna ay Sinopharm? At kung Sinopharm po yung gusto nila, bakit po hindi Sinovac? Yeah, alam mo, you talk to the medical uh, people. Kami yung mga 70, we have to be careful. Ako naman may doktor ako sarili. She hmm. thinks that uh, another brand, I will not mention it. Uh, yun na lang ang hinintay ko. Sabi niya, hinintay niya. Hinintay ko. Sabi ko. But I cannot hmm. just uh, uh, out of the box uh, vaccine simply because I have to take care of my age. I will be 77 next year, next month. Eh, yung 70 nga, pinagsasabihin na, baka hindi ako abot. Hindi, 67 lang ako. Sinasabi ko lang yan para sa mga bata pa sila eh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sir, um, but, kasi sir, ang nasabi po sa... Ano, walang, alam mo, in the matter of getting the vaccine it is to my advantage it is to my self interest that I should get one no doubt about it as to what brand yan ang problema because it is left to the sound discretion of my doctor may caveat pa yan 70 people above are you know, they say nila wag na. In some areas, some countries, hindi na binabakunahan yung 70. It's either because they are nearing death or about to die, or it would be useless to give them the vaccine because anyway, they won't live long. I really do not know the rational or rationally of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Sir, just one last question. Sir, um, I'd like you to address po yung mga healthcare workers natin. Because po, um, kung yung survey po ng PGH, ang pagbabasehan natin, 8% uh, lang po ng mga empleyado sa PGH ang gusto po magpabakuna noong Sinovac. Tapos po yung uh, kung mga Pilipino ang titignan, sir, survey says 13% uh, lang po yung may gusto ng Chinese vaccine. So, address, sir, yung parang distrust ng mga Pilipino sa Chinese vaccines and would you be willing to be vaccinated in public to shore up yung public confidence sa pagbabakuna? And just one last point, sir, si Vice President Lenny uh, saying that you should be the first to be vaccinated um, to shore up the public um, uh, confidence in the vaccine. So yung survey, sir, na mababa yung may gusto ng Chinese and then yung kung kay Vice President. Thank you, sir. Siya may yung apurado. Siya ang mauna. Ako, I, I, I cannot just decide. She's young. I am not. I have to defer to my doctor. But I said, mm -hmm. on the matter of getting the vaccine, it is my self-preservation will be at issue. Kailangan ko mm -hmm. magpabakuna. Ano bang problema nila sa bakuna na talaga magpabakuna man ako? If I do not want to die and get COVID, I, I should get one. I go around a lot. I meet so many people on any given trip outside. Bakit nadramahin pa yan? Sino mauna? Sino? Ako magpabakuna. 
ang problema ang doktor ko mahinihintay. Now, on the issue mm. of itong mga health workers, merong dadating, they have a choice. It's either Seneca or uh, 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 AstraZeneca, sir? Astra... AstraZeneca, sir. Ah, AstraZeneca, yan. Yeah. AstraZeneca or the Sinovac. Kung ayaw nila ng Sinovac, maghintay sila uh, in a few days. There has been quite a... Uh, basta... I was assured that it would be coming within the next few days. Di yun ang gusto right. nila. Di, they have a choice. Uh, that's about uh, another, uh, I don't know uh, how many. Uh, 500,000, sir? Uh, I don't know. Basta siguro dyan. Uh, I, I cannot really tell you the exact number. Basta magdat ito. Galing ito sa World Health Organization, so, Sinovac. Mm -hmm. Ito yung ina portion ng WHO among the countries that cannot afford to buy it immediately. Kasi mm -hmm. agawan. Now, kung magsabi ngayon, bakit ngayon lang, eh, mabautit na nga na nag-donate ang nagmagandang loob ng China. This, uh, what you see now, are donated vaccines. Tayo may pera kasi naghiram tayo sa World Bank, pati sa DBP. Sabi naman dalawang ehensya, okay, pahiramin kayo. Walang problema. Problem is, agawan ngayon ng bakuna. Until there is a, a residual supply, we will just have to wait yung magbili tayo. Eh, sige, reklamo. Sinabi ko na ang rason, walang supply. Ginusto ko man magnakaw, ginusto ko man magbili, eh, wala eh. Kaya itong una dumating, AstraZeneca would be coming. Now, for those who do not want to be vaccinated, okay lang sa akin. Wala akong problema. Ayaw ninyo magpabakuna? Okay. That's your choice. Okay. Maraming salamat. Kaya, okay, sir, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, susunod kong magtatanong, Mr. President. Eh, kailangan ka mag mas mag I cannot. I simply cannot. Para akong inutil na magsalita na ano. I have to remove it. Am um, I asking for an exemption? No. But if you want me to do my duty, to talk to the public, to answer the questions from the press, Talagang tinatanggal ko kasi I, I just feel bothered by all of the things hanging in front of me. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you for your time, sir. Nice okay. meeting you again, sir. Ang susunod pong magtatanong ay si Ms. Pia Gutierrez ng ABS-CBN. Hi, sir. Magandang uh, gabi po. Sir, with the start of the vaccine rollout, sir, could you please tell us what kind of scenario that the Philippines will expect in the next few days or in the next few weeks? More importantly, sir, when do we expect uh, the Philippines to achieve herd immunity and when do we expect to get our lives back to normal? Uh, kailan daw po ang in-expect natin na magkaroon tayo ng herd immunity at kailan daw in-expect po natin na babalik po tayo sa normal? Herd, herd immunity is a science. Ang herd immunity is kung ang Manila, around Manila, na bakunahan na, most of the people in the nearby peripheral uh, provinces, wala na lahat nakabakuna, so nobody can get contaminated by, by, by what? By whom? That is the time that we can have the herd immunity. It's a science. 
uh, it uh, only the medical people can give you the exact calculation on that. As a layman, herd immunity is uh, achieved only kung yung nakapalibot sa iyo na bakunahan na. So there is no more chance for you to acquire the disease because wala nang magcontaminate sa iyo. So sir, with the arrival of the vaccine, sir, when do we expect to achieve this herd immunity, sir? Look, ganito ha. Mahirap kasi yan, ma'am. Because ang herd immunity, uh, para sa akin, personally, mas maganda kung contiguous ang territory. Because you only have to do a circle, paliit ng paliit, paliit ng paliit, hanggang towards the center of gravity. Ito island for island eh. And we cannot stop travel. And we cannot expect all people to agree to be vaccinated. That is the problem. Pero kaya nga, we have to take into account the freedom of an individual of what happens to his body. Nobody but nobody can tinker with his uh, in the human life. Kung hindi siya, kung ayaw niya, that makes it doubly hard for us. But that is also one which have to take, which, which we have to take into account in dealing with the problem of COVID-19. Sir, as far as our targets are concerned, do you see this happening within the year or next year or in the next two or three years? Herd immunity, akin lang yan, basa-basa ko lang. Wala -wala akong, I have no reference except that uh, I cannot recall now how many articles I've read about uh, herd immunity. Ang Pilipinas, uh, towards the end of uh, mga early next year pa. Early next year. Early next year. If you ask a doctor, he would give you the same answer. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm wrong. Pero sabi ko, yun lang, gina, yun lang nabasa ko. Uh, but I've read from international... Uh, Magazine. I must confess my incomplete and inadequate uh, knowledge dito sa bagay na ito. Um, on another uh, and a similar matter, sir, now that we have started the rollout of vaccines, would you reconsider the IATF recommendation to place the Philippines under MGCQ? The I Will you reconsider pa, daw po yung placing Metro Manila under MGCQ now that we have rolled out the vaccination program? I am considering it. Actually, I'll start buksan ko na because there are two things that are really bugging us. It's the economy and COVID-19. Nakatutok yan. Our economy is really down. As in down. So, the earlier na mabilisan itong vaccine, the better. Uh, ako, pag nag-umpisa na yan, roll out, and the other uh, vaccines would come in and distribute it to the provinces, I may, pag, siguro pagdating ng mga, we'll have a million by, this month. Magkaroon na tayo ng stock ng 2 million bitawan ko na. I will open the economy. Talagang hirap tayo. You know, people have to eat. People have to work. People have to pay for their upkeep. And the only way to do it is to open the economy and for businesses to regrow. Without that, patay talaga. So, mahirapan tayo. Sir, when you say reopen the economy, that means placing 
Metro Manila under MGCQ in March. As a matter of fact, kung kita ko na marami ng vaccine, open ko na lahat, tanggalin ko na yan. Kung mayroon ng, if the vaccine is available to anybody, for one reason or another, sa mga probinsya na distribute na yan, kasi hindi naman mag-abot ng 110 million. Eh, sa estimate nila, it's about 40 million. Kung makahit tayo ng 40 million, o nandyan na yung vaccine, baski mag, uh, meron tayong mga 20, 30, buksan ko na. Buksan ko na dahil sa economy. Sir, what about face-to-face -face classes po? The what? Face-to-face -face classes. Wag mo na. Not now. It would be, I cannot uh, make that decision. It will place the children in jeopardy. Alam mo, iba na yung decision, iba na yung maraming mamatay. I am not ready to lose the lives of our young people, our children. Tingnan mo, as they come, pag tingnan ko, nakabakuna araw-araw, what's the use? Yung mga ayaw, yung gusto pa ng ibang klaseng, there's the AstraZeneca. If you do not have faith in the Chinese, ako mismo, I guarantee to you, basa, yung 50 per, nobody but nobody can really tell you how effective it is or the efficacy is at that number. It would depend on your body. If you are a healthy person with no underlying causes of diseases, talagang kailangan mo na mas marami. Mahina ang katawan mo. Pero pag mag, bigay mo yan kagaya sa inyo, yung mga babae, nagkaya na katindig dyan, oh wala, that's 100, almost 90. Walang unang makasabi niya ng ano, there's no scientific data of comparison there. Wala pa. The fact that uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Brazil, Africa, uh, UAE, I think, okay. Um, the outcome has been quite successful. Sa China, wala na. Ginabit nila Sinovac, Sinopharm. Okay na sila. As a matter of fact, President Xi Jinping announced, basa ko lang, that uh, China has overcome poverty. Wala nang pobre sa China ngayon.